Greetings all of you Geocorp spies and welcome back to TerraTech with me Lathrex and of course welcome to the location of our base we'll be building up for the rest of this series. After reading all the comments and reading all the different messages it seems like just about the Venture Racetrack has won the popular vote so this is going to be our home and I already have so so many plans for it. The very first part of my plan is this. This location here at the very back of the base is definitely going to be the main stronghold. This is going to have all our defenses, it's going to be where I store my techs, because one thing I would really love to do during this playthrough is have the techs physically in the game. I don't want to always swap them around, I want to be able to have all of our techs with separate parts and have them always spawned in. I think that'll look way cooler, and honestly I think it'll look way more formidable if you're taking a look-see at this pillar from a distance, just having techs all kind of chilling out here with some defense structures in place. The second thing is we're going to need a better way to get to this pillar. Currently it's very easy to defend at least, but it's a very long trip and I don't want to use all these ramps every single time I try and get in here. So we're going to have to build some bridges made out of our stationary techs and defend them. So lots of fortress-like stuff, lots of turrets and everything else, hopefully better future floating turrets. It's going to be a very long process, but I think this is going to look magnificent when it's finished. Just it's gonna take a long time. And apparently this fellow needs help, which is fair. He's stuck there next to another pillar. So as it gets to nighttime then, what are we doing today? Today we are getting the other licenses, or at very least, the Hawkeye licenses. So very similar to the previous video, this one is going to be quite heavily edited. Normally this would be several episodes worth, but we need to up our GSO license to get Hawkeye, do all the Hawkeye starter stuff, and hopefully at least get the Fabricator for one more thing, maybe even Venture, so we can get started making everything of our dreams. Because... Yeah, we're gonna need a lot. And I'll also talk about the rules I'm going to put in place in terms of what I can craft, what I can just buy, as we continue. I've been reading a lot of comments, or reading a lot of comments, if I can pronounce me words. I also want to start making our permanent techs. As much as this plane is fun, it is really not that great. It handles surprisingly well for how it looks, but I know I can build better than this. So, permanent techs today, getting our licenses, and starting the very foundation of our base. That's the plan, and I'm really looking forward to it. Uh, let's do supply drop. Just nice and easy stuff. I'm mostly focusing on GSO today. Hey everyone, Future Lathrix here. Just to say that in the same style as the previous video, this video has been more heavily edited than usual, and it's essentially multiple videos worth of footage all put down into one, probably 40 or so minute video, because so much stuff got done, so many missions were completed, and a lot of it was stuff we've seen before, so editing around that was pretty intense. I really do hope you enjoy it. It was a load of fun to record, and I want to say a massive thank you to everyone in the previous video who liked and commented and everything else. It was so heartwarming to see such a positive reception into the series back on the channel after so long. Likes and comments really are the easiest way to show me that you want to see TerraTech on the channel and just a huge thank you. Almost 10,000 likes in less than a week for me was such a big deal. Maybe we'll see that again in the future in this series. I would be so happy to see that. So back into the video, shilling done and lots of things are going to be destroyed. Oh, we have to find the crate. Well, I'm glad I picked night time. Oh, it's right there. <laughs> well, that was a very easy mission indeed. Whee! As we almost crash into the ground. I also want to say a huge thank you to all the likes and the comments on the previous video. It is so heartwarming to see this series back with such a positive reception. I had no idea how popular that would be and again a massive thank you. Leaving a like on these videos is how I know you want to see more so. Like away, it really helps the channel and really helps out me knowing what I need to do next. Sadly, doesn't improve my speech. While I was waiting for it to be daytime, there we go, we have a little defense turret. I've called it Happy Jim. It's so happy. Well, that was easy. Hard to resist an abandoned tool crate. Wings! Lovely. Maybe this thing should have missiles. That was smart. No, Happy Jim's first kill. Ah, Fez. Excellent. My second favourite hat in the game. I think Jim needs more guns, honestly. Less armour. Ooh. <laughs> but let's not remove the armour, which is apparently vital to its structural integrity. I hear not falling apart is actually a very valid option for defending an area. 
explosives, and some lasers would be good. Do I not have any? There they are. Even happier, Jim. Are they not allowed to leave the area? This would have looked way more impressive if this fight was more fair. Still, hold on, Jim. Ooh, Jim has range. Thanks, Jim. Rama, Jim. Must be a relative. Oh, there's an issue. Well, Jim's all well and good. Till he can't see the enemy. Hello there, beast starter. Oh, problem! I didn't realise the base had so many guns. Well, I almost got myself destroyed. That's a lot of stuff we just got there. So there's a 50% chance that's a trap. Oh. No need for Jim at all. Oh, we have... Oh, I thought it's a cannon then. Ow. Here's your reward. We'll drop it on your head. Ooh. That's pretty. Okay, so the GSO missiles are actually really nice on aircraft. So this is the Bird of Prey mission. Once we complete this, we get the Hawkeye license. We can't really do much of Hawkeye yet, but at least we'll have the license finished. This would be so much easier on a copter. For once, I don't want to use the hover glitch, so next build will definitely be a copter. I think I've decided on the restrictions we're going to go with on a side note. It's going to be a matter of I'm not allowed to just farm resource, otherwise we'll just be doing absolutely nothing but farming resource. But I am allowed to buy as much as I want, which means I need to make very efficient killing machines to scrap enemies. That way, we're guaranteed lots of combat, but I'm still not going to spend hours and hours crafting things when I could otherwise just be building and doing other stuff. Still going to build a fabricator base though, because that's just fun. I might be going a little bit overboard here. Okay, so. Bear with me. It's got a little bit off the original plan, but I wanted to start building the foundations of a final craft. So, here we kind of are. It's not finished yet, as you can probably see. But it is very, very scary. And it can definitely fly. In fact, it's decently quick, but it's currently incredibly unbalanced because I didn't have the stuff to do the back section of it. So... Yeah, it's just really quick. It has missiles and it has loads of the GSO pound cannons, but it really does need more. So what I really want is all the normal cannons from Hawkeye and just cannons from GSO, honestly. That's really what we need. I also need the computer from Better Future so I can move around and don't have to constantly tweak its movement. Because currently it doesn't want to stay still. But for now, this is our Warcraft, at least... Our Warbird if we're going to go into combat airborne and it does have a lot of battery power It has three of these things the Geocorp Glutton Mega Battery now these things can hold a truly ludicrous amount of power So although this thing doesn't look like it's gonna stand up to a fight It kind of is you may also notice it doesn't have shielding yet because the only shields I have available are absolutely tiny So it's a work in progress. Let's see what it ends up looking like by the end of the video. That's the new <laughs> That's the new um goal. And the important thing is, it has missiles. I do want to move away from only using missiles, that's why I want to use more cannons and stuff on this thing, but missiles nonetheless. And of course it wouldn't be a Lathrixian vehicle if I didn't forget the radar. There we go. Now it has radars. Oh yeah, it also can't stay still because, again, it's imbalanced. But once this thing gets into the air, it will get us where we need to go faster than the plane, I think, so... That's a good thing. Let's see if we can get better future and more Hawkeye stuff done. I 
kind of like it. It's just a scrap heap at the moment. Yeah, the front's kind of makeshift. The back doesn't exist, though. Also, once we get better future, this would actually make a decent AI-controlled thing. Give it a proper sky anchor, just let it fly in the air and dominate an area. Actually, I think that may have been what I've made. I've made a base. That's why it's so unwieldy. A friendly tech is sending out distress signal nearby. Okay. So defend them. That's fine. Let's see if we can even stay in the area, though. Once again, I don't really have shields. There's a chance we just lose straight away, but as long as they're small enough... There we go. We've been doing damage to the pound cannons. In fact, the pound cannons seem to be the strongest thing here. When next? No one else? Yeah, I think we're a bit oversized for this thing. This is also the most difficult to control tech I think I've ever made. And I can't explain that to you adequately without giving you control of the thing. You just have to believe old Lathy. Oh yeah, I should give this thing the ability to strafe. That's something it needs. Oh, a ramp already! Lovely! Of course we're going to use these extensively once we're building our base. The bulk of the base will be Hawkeye, but I do want to mix in some, some uh, Geocorp stuff. I don't know why, but I've kind of fallen in love with Geocorp this run. I mean, just look at the behemoth I've made. It's so... dumb. Like me. We found Hubble. Greetings, Prospector. Do you ever feel like you're lagging behind the times? Like you're rooted to the ground with no way of lifting yourself up? Perhaps what you need is a brighter future? A better future? Our scientists here at the Better Future Corporation are committed to developing cutting-edge technology to help you attain electronical enlightenment. You do want to achieve enlightenment, right? Ah, of course you do. You big shot. Right-click the screen to embark on your journey. Do you want to purchase a better future license? Sure. I literally can't afford it right now. Wow. Ha, you're poor. Come back when you're less poor. Okay, I'll be back soon. <laughs> I'll do some other missions then. I don't really want to do the almighty cube, honestly. Maybe I need to set up a scrapper and start scrapping some of the stuff I found. Or we could just do some easy missions. You know what? Let's just do some easy Hawkeye missions. I'll come back to this. <laughs> Find the baggage crate. That's going to be easy. It's where the trees just fell down. Whee! Belly flop. It's very easy when this thing spawns in a wasteland. There's really nothing here. I like that all the fort parts, though, are apparently rank 1. That's nice to see. And now Lathrex hurts his throat quite badly in order to do a truly terrible voice. Well, look what the cat dragged in. HQ sent me a weak string of blocks like you and call it a recruit. I'm Sergeant Smash, but you can call me Sir Yes Sir, because <coughs> your voice is going to kill me. Show me that you don't mess anything up. Have you fallen any love with me, doghead? <coughs> Gotta go throw up. <coughs> Get going. Oh, that little thing. Ow. 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 Well then. I've also put a piece of hover equipment from Geocorp at the bottom of this thing. It's making it a lot easier to control this, because now we can kind of scoot along the floor, as long as the floor is nice and flat. We can scoot on our butt. Like a dog with something horribly wrong. Isn't that truly the main goal of any tech? See? It's like I've got problems. <laughs> that would be weird. Okay, I think I need to get out of this tech for a while. It is functional, but it's clearly so unfinished it's difficult to control. So this is going to be our project for the rest of the episode. By the end, I want it a little bit more functioning. Ooh, I've now got enough to begin our journey into better future. Congratulations, your path to enlightenment is clear and ready for liftoff. Estimated delivery time for your better future license, approximately four to six seconds. 
Contact hashtag no refunds at do not reply for further assistance. Lovely. Okay, so we have the better future license now. So minimum then, I want the Sky Anchor or I want some decent cannons. They're the two things which I'd be very happy to see. So we've already got the licenses. That was actually the main goal of the whole episode. That happened faster than expected. So, let's build up this bully of a tech. Our big bouncy boy. Sergeant Smash has politely asked us to destroy 10 techs. That was number three. Four. Five. Six. A very awkward seven. Nine minus one. And nine. And ten? Wait, did one of those two not count? Oh, I guess one of them must have destroyed the other. I'm assuming the big boy killed the small boy. And one more of Sergeant Smash's missions are done. Oh, we get a few of the, the little tracks. How sweet. And a corner piece? I did not know that piece of armor existed. Ooh, stuff. Are you trying to get scrapped, maggot? Don't sneak up on me like that. Someone tells me you wouldn't actually win. I've tracked a target on our blacklist of this location. You're gonna take him out. Almost did then. But if you don't want to go home in a pile of chunks, keep an eye out for his something or other. What are you waiting for, mouth breather? Get going already. And... It's over. I can't remember... I don't remember the first few um, Geocorp missions being this easy. Hawkeye missions. My brain is already melting. This video has already been this <laughs> many, many hours in recording. I don't know how. Time flies when you're a giant flying blob. Since Better Future is charmingly expensive every time you want to do anything, I'm now starting to scrap some spare parts I have. Like I was saying earlier in the video, my goal now is to only get money from scrapping the corpses of my opponents. I've actually done this in a previous playthrough, but I found it incredibly fun because it means efficiency actually matters rather than just throwing down loads of the miners and everything else. So here we are, scrapping the corpses of our enemies for some lovely, lovely resource. Got some refineries, got some of the delivery cannons, we can pretty much sell everything. Oh, also, we now have the pacemaker. That's why things are moving nice and quickly. Since Better Future has a lovely habit of charging a lot for all of its stuff in the coming few missions, I've set up this little tiny scrapping base. It's really simple, it's easy to extend, and we do have the pacemaker making everything a lot faster now. So we have the scrappers on one end, they go through. If they are already a refined block or a component, that then gets filtered through to the sales section. If not, it simply waits to get refined and then goes to the sales section, making us a lot of money from all of the lovely corpse parts we're finding. Certainly makes missions and murder a lot more beneficial. Also, these repair bubbles are not reaching everything. Now, they are reaching everything important. They're just not reaching things like this little block here, which is going to get really annoying if I don't deal with that. So I could put down a new repair bubble and, you know, be efficient here. Or I could just sell that and pop a new one in. There we go. Because sometimes laziness... I can't bother to finish that sentence. Just did the very first of the hover missions for Better Future, and we got pretty much everything I wanted. So the tech you can buy for 10,000 is just this little thing, and it comes with a stabilizing computer, and that, of course, is what I really, really need for old Unhappy Jim over here, because Unhappy Jim can't stay still, which is pretty bad for a hover slash flying craft? What do you even call this thing? But also, we have the better future sky anchor, so with that, we can stay in the air and charge up and do all the things we need to do. So let's throw this down for a second. Let's see how good that is. Let's fly up a little bit. Does that stabilize when you're in the air as well? It does. Ooh, that is nice. Yeah, that's going to make life a lot easier for us. Now, isn't stabilizing our sideways movement very well because I don't have any controls for that? If I add some stuff, that'll work really well. Fantastic. 
Okay, so let's throw it there. There we go. So we are now technically anchored. And with that, if we throw down some... Where's the Geocorp solar panels? I have two. So if I throw in a couple of these, let's just put it on top here for a second so I can even see them in action. There we are. So now I'm charging up. And I am a pretty stationary turret thing. Just hit the max. Lovely. That is a huge upgrade to this craft. So now what I need is some better weapons. We have the missiles. But I really want some cannons. Okay, lesson learned. <laughs> Don't just throw down the anchor when moving at full speed. You will smash into the floor because suddenly you're on a sort of lever. Not smart. Did I just throw a block forwards? I think I chipped a tooth. I don't know where that fell off. We now have an aerial. Go get your numbers up. Okay, sure. So kill 20 things. Let's do another mission with that, shall we? Hooligans, sure. Let's at least get to rank 2 with Hawkeye. How is that bubble not reaching it? It is clipping it, so I thought it was reaching it. Wow, we just need to reposition a lot of stuff, I think. Till then, I'm just going to throw some stuff down here. Again, this is not the final form of this craft. It's currently usable and actually doing incredibly well. It's just also a flying lump of death. Which is a really weird name for a rock band, actually. Lump of death. Dispose of the hooligans. Where are the hooligans? Oh, hello, hooligans. Ooh, that's a lot of you, actually. Ooh, ow. Lots of pain. Let's just keep backing off. The pound cannon can hit targets, but you've got to be in a very specific place, like here. Yeah, it's mostly the missiles doing like This is why we need proper cannons and such. I would like other stuff. I also do want to have other craft other than just a flying combat vehicle, because honestly, flying is very powerful in this game. But right now, just doing these missions, I'm finding it a lot of fun, just raining down death. Okay, one down. Are they healing each other? No, they're transferring power to each other, because healing doesn't exist in that, this game in that way. Ow, ow, ow. Welp. This is why we need the Hawkeye shields to cover this craft as well. Currently, we're just a big bundle of healing. And finally, you. And finally, finally, you. And finally, 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 you. Lovely. Now, do I have a replacement for what I've just lost? Nope, I'm going to have to buy a replacement then. So far, none of these have been traps. It's been very pleasant. There's a future raiding party. Whoa, that thing is quick. Not as quick as my explosions. Oh, all of the pound cannons hit at once then. It was a glorious yet very short-lived sight. Using the better future stabilizer is making this thing so much more combat effective. Oh, that's what is hurting me. Something behind me. You are very mean. And deserve all the explosions to the face. And the sides. And the buttocks. And what's in chest number two? Lots of good stuff, actually. So first of all, we have one of the small fuel tanks, which I just really like, compared to the others. We have the tail wing, we have one of the ion drives, and then we have some of the sections for the air rig. Now that's really what we're probably going to use more of when it comes to just building out our base. The air rigs look fantastic in the air, and honestly, they just look fantastic when you're building fortresses as well. Fantastic. Let's at least get to level 2 of Hawkeye. 
Hopefully we'll get some better weapons. So far, the pound cannons have actually been doing really good work. I'm tempted just to remove the missiles so we're not just reliant on those all the time. But I want some more fun weapons before we do that. And eventually, this thing will be a true floating fortress of death. And not just blob. With this anchored here, it means we have basically unlimited power to our repair bubbles. Although it doesn't make us immune to damage, because they're not shields, it is going to make us very difficult to kill. Though I can't move to better aim the pound cannons, that's the only problem. See, when the pound cannons hit, they really hit. They're still one of my favourite weapons, because they're so tiny as well. Maybe I should just focus on getting loads of them. Hawkeye rank 2. Did that just hit me midair? Ow. I think. Maybe. Wait, we're not finished yet. Oh, we finished the other mission. I see. The whole kill enough things. Oh, I'm just firing explosives into my loot, aren't I? I am losing so much loot there. Okay, so what do we have from all these chests? That's the fabricator, isn't it? Yeah, the fabricator. We've got some fort walls, so that's fantastic. More fort stuff. Anything else, like, weapon-wise? I can't remember what weapons are rank 2. Like, I'm tempted to go into creative mode just to check it out. Oh, the Havoc Shield! Fantastic, we have the shield, at least. Let's just focus on Hawkeye missions for a while. Let's try and get a couple more shields, so at least this thing is protected. If we can't have weapons, we can have defense. The Rocket Men crew have provoked us into action. They've installed three rogue AA turrets right in the middle of our busiest air traffic shipping route path. We need you to take the Blackbird plane fitted with the Paladin bomb. Yes, we get ourselves the bombs already as well. Everything is making more and more sense as time goes by. You've got an interesting shape, and that's all I'm going to say on the matter. Of course, you'll have to keep... Okay, yeah, we get to keep it afterwards. Fantastic. Can I, like, buy multiple of them? Because each time I buy one, I'll get the bomb, right? Though that is very expensive. Why is everything so expensive? Okay, let me scrap some stuff. This is so much more balanced than everything else we've made so far. Where are we going? Way over there? All the way over there. Bye! I'll come back for you later! Oh, okay, stay above them. That makes sense. We are, after all, a plane. Not very good AI guns, if, uh... Staying above them is how we count them, though, to be fair. Did that not kill that? Let's pretend that didn't happen. I don't know why more planes don't apply this tactic. Hug the enemy. Guaranteed hit. But at the same time, this is taking a very, very long while. Okay, how do I cheat this? Shouldn't have threw that away. Ooh. Though I did get a battery out of this. Can I still fly? Yee. Yes, I can. Just about. This thing is no longer flying as smoothly as before. Oh, Lord. This is not flying smoothly at all. Okay. What a lovely, <laughs> what a lovely flight there. What do we get? Do we get any shinier weapons? Be lovely if we do. We get... Ooh, what are you? Oh, the Cyclops laser. I forgot about your existence. Don't know how useful that will be on our flying craft, but I kind of want it on the flying craft nonetheless. I've realised what I want on this thing. The Hawkeye autocannons. 
They turn faster than the pound cannons, and they just unleash loads of bullets. Having rows of these things would make me very happy. Now, ages ago, they used to have a much larger hitbox, but that's changed. It's not even recent change, they just changed at some point. So now this thing has no missiles, it's purely a gunship. And that makes me a lot happier. I think something just exploded. So that's what you want though. Lots and lots of that. Yeah, we're being very stealthy. They can't see us at all. Can you just let me attack them? Once again, for some reason, Sergeant Smash's missions are so much easier than all the others. I say I say that, but I don't actually know what weapons it's got there. What you got? That's got missiles. No, it hasn't. It's lasers. Missiles? Lasers? What you got? If it's missiles, it's bad. If it's lasers, they're not going to be able to hit us. Oh yeah, I much prefer this to the missiles. It's way more fun, it's short enough range, I can't just outrange the enemy every single fight. This is the way to go. Lots and lots of bullet hell. You know, for fun and profit. Why can't I hit this one little thing? Wow, they can almost fire directly down, that's surprising. Though, saying that, apparently I can't hit little Bo Peep. Sorry, little Bo Beep. You know what? Normally this is where I'd edit away, but future Lathrix, keep this in. There we go. So we all got to see the pain together. As one cohesive hive mind. Oh, not again. Why can I not hit small to- Oh, it's because I am moving slightly. That's the problem. So my bullets are also moving because they're vulnerable to that. Okay, yeah. So what I need is- I need strife controls so that my better- future controller can, you know, stop me from constantly moving. Would that work? Do I not have strife installed? Yeah, strife is E and Q. Oh, it is working. It's just very, very weak. Okay, that's something that we just need to sort out later on. So what do we get then? From our chest. Well, a few nice things, a few more bits for the fortress. We have the bruiser cab, we have the mortar, which is always lovely. And a bit more armor as well. And a jet. But, again, nothing I'm going to use on this thing. I want more of these. Once again, we have the mission just to destroy enough techs. Okay, so you can still kind of outrange things, but not much. As you can see, the shells really do have a certain range. Kind of forgot to detether then. Come on, clear you out. Let's grab the base. So it's one more lovely base for us. Oops, I've now controlled the base. Wait, did that just have. No. It has auto cannons. The game smiles upon us. Now, can we please? Beautiful. Now, what did we just get from that chest? I'm also now realizing I'm not really picking up much stuff from corpses. Which is a bit of a problem since that's how we get most of our money now. Let's get better with that. Still haven't had a single one of these trapped yet. And still haven't found the best hat in the game yet either. Is that a weird coincidence? It's being nice but not giving me what I want, therefore torturing me in its own unique special way? Or, am I just getting very tired right now and speaking even more gibberish than usual? GUNS! There are more of them now. One more chest found, more... loot. Sure, I'm a proper airship now, but I'm still going to act like a very angry turret. Ooh, that has rail guns. That's going to do some nasty burst damage. I might get through my repair bubbles quite easily, actually. You know what? I'm going to fly a little bit higher. There we go. Yeah, I think these guns are definitely the thing I want to go with the autocannons. They just look so cool. 
and the fact they can fire almost directly down makes them really useful. You need shields when you just have overwhelming firepower. And a height advantage. Ow. Stop landing everything on me. It's blumming rude. Killed some enemies. Got some money from scrap for later. Mission complete. So we've got two more chests. So I also just got to rank three of Hawkeye. I don't know where the chest is, though. I'm sure they dropped a chest somewhere. Maybe it's just in all this mix of items, since I did kill a Hawkeye enemy as well. We are a flying junkyard. We're making junkyards. That's what we do. I really need to stop playing this game soon, but I'm just having way too much fun. Okay, one more chest. What do we get this time? Still no awesome hat from this one, though we do get... Oh, that's just a... Laser, I thought it was something cooler. For anyone who's managed to get this far into the video. Orange. Yeller. Or steampunky red. I'm leaning towards orange, but I really can't decide. What are we doing here? Crown Top Hill Fort. Investigate the Crown Top Hill Fort. Confront the Spider King. Oh, I've built a base here long ago before base building items were a thing in a much... Whoa, I was about to say a much older season. Now think about it, it is a much older season in this game. Terratech is making me feel old. Terratech should not make you feel old. Oop. Hello there, Groundhog. You appear to be a bit leany. Oh, because you're lost. The flies, they're his minions, they guard him, and he makes new flies all the time. Here comes the flies now. Let's just float up a little bit higher. Okay, let's take out the flies. Then we'll take out the spider king. Oh, they're so cute! I don't even know what they are. What are they made of? They're so tiny. Oh, I love them and want them as children. I meant to say pets. Children. I'll be a proud fly daddy. Which is kind of the opposite of me in real life, considering I'm more fond of the spiders, having many pet tarantulas and several pet very highly venomous spiders. Because I'm a normal person, and normal people have these as pets. And it's all of you who are weird. Hello there, Spider King. Who trespasses in the lair of the Spider Kings? Yeah, it's more of a spider, th sorry, more of a snake thing to do, I should say. Seriously though, what are you doing in my fort? Oh, the door's open. I mean, it means get a fix, but I don't wander into your house unannounced. Well, at least you understand what's going on. There we go. Oh, there's a lot of spiders about to land on me. Ow. Now, it should be doing loads of damage to its shield. That's the thing with kinetic shots. They do bonus damage versus shield, so... My god, they have a lot of shielding. I'm just floating up here. Am I still even hitting it? Yes, I am. I'm kind of in a good position to dodge its missiles, though. But seriously, how much shielding does this thing have? Did they take out my anchor? Let's cut my anchor, that's just rude. Am I meant to destroy the other things first? Am I being dumb right now? Because I'm fairly certain I should have knocked out this thing's shield, based on its size. It's like I'm just making it rain on him. So I took out the other tech. Did the flies all need to go down? Again, Kinetic does do bonus damage versus shields in this game, or at least it used to. Maybe you are meant to kill all the flies. But I don't care. I'm stubborn and slowly knocking off one block at a time.
There we go. Giving it a hug worked. Friendship is always the way. Ooh, big ol' rotors. Lovely. Oh, two missions finished. Even more big ol' rotors. Ooh, missiles, but proper missiles. Ooh, so many things, so many beautiful things. Just realised how much power we have. Look at how much energy we still have left after all that. I was healing constantly because of all the attacks we were taking. Yeah, these super batteries really are... Well, they're super. Pretty wonderful, in fact. Pretty cool. As the kids would say. Pretty pog. I thought I'd said Black Off Mountain Dew then. Is this another one of those ones of just destroy loads of things? No, it's not. Okay, maybe this will be the last mission we do. Because again, I am really running out of time for today. I've been playing this now all day. Uh... Sergeant Smash tried to escape and got stuck on us. We are really that magnetic. I didn't even see what happened that time. Well, that was nice and easy. Again, Sergeant Smash's missions are always the easiest ones. Flesh Tone Block. Better future rank 2, and I think here is really where we need to call the video because I have so much footage at this point, even with how I'm going to edit this, I doubt it's going to be less than 30 minutes, probably about 40 or 50 at this point. Who knows how, how accurate I am? You know a lot more than me right now. So with that, thank you so much for watching. Ooh, anti-grav and loads of other cool stuff. Oh, there's so many more things I want. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. If you have enjoyed today's video, then of course, likes, favorite, shares, comments, all that good stuff helps out me, helps out the channel, and most importantly, shows that TerraTech is a series you wish to see continued in the future. As you can probably tell, I've actually lost a couple of my front movement parts over the last few battles, so I need to grab that again. I need to repair this. I'll do all that off camera so we're ready in the next video to finish off everything we need to do to actually start building the base, or at very least, build some more techs other than the gunship so i've really enjoyed today just massively so and then once again a huge thank you to everyone who's welcomed this series back after such a long hiatus with such a nice welcome it's been so nice to just start doing all this again thank you for watching have a lovely day do take care and until next time goodbye now i'm gonna continue building for a little bit